So you found yourself in a situation where you've lost part of your seed phrase, or maybe you've lost your wallet password or something like that, and you're wanting to be able to use BTC Recover uh, to try and recover that. But I unfortunately discovered that most of the guides kicking around, including my previous videos on the matter, uh, no longer really work in terms of how to install the newest uh, Python 3 version of BTC Recover. So this guide is just going to quickly look at how to install everything you need uh, to get BTC Recover running on Windows uh, using the Python 3 branch that is the current branch now on my uh, GitHub repository, as well as how to set up everything you need so that you can use GPU acceleration, which can dramatically speed things up uh, depending on which type of wallet you're using. And uh, we'll have videos look at how to do this on Linux, uh, as well as using like rented CPU power on vast.ai coming later. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe, and that way you can stay in the loop for content I make to help you find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. It can certainly seem daunting at first to get this tool set up and running, especially if you're not someone who's like familiar with working in the command line, uh, but it's certainly very doable. And uh, basically, once you follow the process in this video, all of the other videos that I've done for using BTC Recover, even the previous version, uh, will actually still work because I've been making an effort to make sure that all the commands uh, and arguments and things that BTC Recover uses uh, stay the same uh, to be backwards compatible with previous versions. All right, so we're going to start out just at my GitHub repository for BTC Recover. Uh, this is the repository that you want to use. Uh, because the other repositories for BTC Recover are all quite out of date and haven't really been maintained uh, in over two years. So uh, to use it on Python 3, which is what I'll cover in this guide, uh, and to do the sort of GPU acceleration I'll be covering here, you'll need to be using uh, my repository here. So we're just going to follow the bouncing ball uh, through the installation guide that is in here. So we'll just click through here. And basically, there's just a few steps that we're going to do. So first thing we want to do is download BTC Recover. We can literally just right click and just save that link there. So the next thing we're going to do is install Python. And uh, we're going to need Python 3.6, 3.7, or 3.8. So this might mean you need to upgrade your version of Python. Uh, but what we're going to do is we are just going to go to the download site, which is here. So these are the official downloads on python.org. So while you can just download the 32-bit version and it will work, we are going to actually download the 64-bit version. That's these ones with uh, x86-64 at the end of it. And the reason for that is that uh, if you're trying to do recovery with an address database, uh, it will actually not work if you have the 32-bit version. And also knowing which version of Python you installed, whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit, will be important later. So uh, keep note of that. All right, so if we look in the downloads folder, we have two things. We have BTC Recover. We can literally just right click on that and just say extract all and just do the uh, default unzip that Windows will do. Just go with defaults. That's totally fine. And uh, once that's done, you can see that we have BTC Recover there, even though it sort of puts itself in the same folder twice. That doesn't matter. Um, and here is Python. So we're going to install that. So we'll double click on the thing that we just downloaded. And we want to make sure that we add Python 3.8 to part because we're going to be using Python from the command line. So make sure you check that little box down the bottom. Other than that, you can just say install now and the defaults will be totally fine. All right, and there we go. So that's Python install done. So if I hit the Windows button on my keyboard and type in CMD, uh, you'll see that the best match is command prompt. So you can just hit enter and then you can have command prompt here. And what you can do now is if you type in Python, you'll see that it actually shows you this now. Uh, whereas before it just opened up the Windows store. So we can see here that I've now got Python 3.8.4 installed or RC1. And it is the 64-bit version. And there you go. So if you type in Python and it says something like Python 2 uh, or some earlier version of Python earlier than 3.6, you're going to need to uh, use either a different command to run Python, depending on the way you've got things installed, or you're going to need to work out uh, which version of Python you want on your computer. And managing multiple different Python installs on your computer is beyond the scope of what we're going to be looking at here. Step three, we are going to install all of the requirements via Python pip. So pip is basically a package manager that's built into Python. So what we're going to do is we are going to navigate to where we downloaded that to. So I just downloaded the defaults, so it'll just go 
into the downloads folder. So if I'm in the command prompt and I type in CD downloads, and then I type in CD BTC recover, and then as you noticed before, it was in there twice. So we'll just um, do that. We're now in the folder for BTC recover. So, I, so if I type in DIR and hit enter, it'll actually show me all the files here that are in this folder here. So all what we're looking at the same thing now in Windows Explorer here on the left and in the command prompt on the right. So it's important that you're in the folder where you unzipped BTC recover, otherwise nothing will work. So the next step is to install all the requirements uh, using Python pip. So basically you can either just type in this command here, just in your command prompt that is in the BTC recover folder, or you can actually just copy it and paste it by uh, right clicking in the command prompt window like I just did, and then just hit enter. And it will actually just automatically go through and download and install all the different requirements you need for BTC recover. And there you go, and that's done. There shouldn't be any errors or anything like that. Now at this point, if you don't have a uh, decent graphics card in your computer, you can actually skip step four uh, and just do it using your CPU. And you can basically just test your installation using this command here. And I'll just quickly show you what that looks like and speed it up. And there you go. So that's done. It took a minute to run and everything passed and uh, the open CL ones were skipped, which is good. So once you get to the point where all the tests pass like this, uh, BTC Recover is installed and it is working correctly. Uh, so you can move on to looking at the specific video uh, that covers the type of recovery you want to do or look in the documentation for an example uh, that closely relates to that. So for those who want to do GPU acceleration, we'll just go through that as well because it actually doesn't take very long. So what we're going to do is we need to have a working install of PY OpenCL, uh, which is a Python OpenCL library for uh, OpenCL 1.2. So what we're going to do is firstly, uh, it goes without saying, you will need to install the latest driver package for your GPU. Uh, it doesn't matter what sort of GPU you've got, AMD or NVIDIA, you will need to install those drivers. Nothing will work without this. Uh, and installing those is not part of this guide. Honestly, it probably came installed by default in Windows. Now, for PYOpenCL, uh, you can't just use that same pip command that we used before to install it directly online. You're going to have to go to this website here and manually download the correct version. Because if you see on this website, there's like a whole ton of different options. Uh, but basically what we have here is some instructions on how to select the right one. So basically we want to make sure you select the OpenCL 1.2. So we want to make sure we get the Python 3.8 version. And we want to make sure that we get the 64-bit version because we have 64-bit Python installed. So we can go onto this page and just look through all of them. The Python 1.2 ones are down lower. So this is the one we want here. So it's for OpenCL 1.2, it's Python 3.8, and it's for AMD 64. So that WHL file is the one that we want. So we're just going to left-click on that. And then it's going to prompt to download it. And we're just going to save that into our downloads folder by default. Now, how you install this file is using a special command with pip. So we're going to go back to our downloads folder. Um, so you can do that either by just closing command prompt and navigating back to there, or we can just go back down the directory level. So if we just type in cd space dot dot slash dot dot slash and hit enter, it will actually take us two levels back down. So we're now back into the downloads folder, pip3 install. So if I just start typing in pyopencl and then hit the tab button on my keyboard, Windows will actually work it out uh, and it'll fill it in with the file that you just downloaded. That is assuming you only downloaded one file. If you downloaded a whole bunch of them, uh, you're gonna have to manually make sure you install the right one. And uh, so if you hit enter, it'll try and install it. It'll download some other bits and pieces for it as well. And that's done. So basically what you're looking for is this message here, you know, successfully installed a whole bunch of things that includes PY OpenCL. Uh, and if you get a whole bunch of errors, you've probably selected the wrong uh, file that you either downloaded from that website or you tried to install the wrong one uh, at this step here. So uh, once you've done that, uh, OpenCL and GPU acceleration will now work. 
All right, so if I just navigate back to the BTC recover directory, if I just type in BTC and hit tab, it'll actually fill it out and hit enter. And again, if I just type in CD space and then type in BTC and then hit tab key, it'll actually fill it out, enter. Okay, so now I want to run that tests command from before. And so now this time we run it, you'll see it will actually do all of the OpenCL tests rather than skipping them. Uh, the only one it's probably going to skip is the SLI one, which is uh, only going to run if you have a multi-GPU system. And so there you go. So that's it. So from here, you would uh, basically look at some of the other videos or some of the other example guides I've got for how to use BTC Recover to try and find something that matches your situation the best. The other thing to note is if you're going to be using this with your actual seed that has funds on it, uh, you can safely disconnect your internet connection at this point because BTC Recover doesn't need any uh, networking whatsoever to run. It's downloaded everything it needs uh, and can run totally standalone and you can then reconnect your computer after you've recovered your seed and moved your funds to a new one. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.